Chitterlings, also known as chitlins, are a type of food made from the small intestines of a pig. They are quite popular in different cultures around the world, but they hold a special place in the hearts and minds of African Americans. So let's talk about them. If you like stories like this, you can find more stories like this at onemichistory.com. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so on Buy Me Coffee on my Patreon page in the description below. Give us five stars on Apple Podcast. But without further ado, let's get started. The word chitterling was first documented in the English language around the year 1400. It was spelled chitterlings. Linguist Paul Anthony Jones pointed out that during the late 1500s, chitterlings referred to a fancy type of neck ruffle. It's possible that the name came about from the frilly edges resembled the internal folds of an animal's intestines. The earliest origins of chitterlings traced back to the Middle Ages in Europe, particularly in the United Kingdom and France, where they formed an integral part of impoverished peasants' dietary repertoire. During this period, less desirable parts of the pig, including the intestines, were left for the consumption of the poorer classes, while the upper classes ate their choice of meat. This was a matter of necessity, as the idea of waste was not a concept that could be entertained much during the Middle Ages. During that same time period, cooking chitlins was a labor-intensive task involving washing, boiling, often frying before they could be consumed. They were often boiled with onions and covered in a sauce made from a broth. In 1743, the British cookbook entitled The Lady's Companion or The Infallible Guide to the Fair Sex included a recipe for calf chitlins. This dish was essentially a type of sausage that contained bacon, and oval, which is a variety of internal organs of an animal, all inside the casing of a calf intestine. The reason it was given for using calf intestines instead of the usual pig intestines was because the recipe was meant for the summer, when pigs were not commonly slaughtered. This recipe was later shared by author Hannah Glass in the famous 1784 cookbook, The Art of Cookery. Meanwhile, in Asia, chitterlings were adopted into local cuisine with a variety of preparation methods and seasoning and in keeping in regional culinary standards. In, in China, for instance, chitterlings had been cooked for over a thousand years and they were often used in stews, braises, and in stir fries. While chitterlings were familiar to some cultures in Africa, they were primarily introduced to the diets of enslaved Africans in the Americas during their enslavement. The plantation owners would often slaughter pigs for their meat, reserving the premium cuts for themselves. The leftover parts of the pig, the feet, the head, the heart, the neck bones, and the intestines were often given to the enslaved. Hence, chitlings or chitlins became a regular feature on the tables of the enslaved. Unlike other soul foods that had a common lineage in Southern cuisine, chitlins remain strong ties to their African heritage. This connection stemmed from the West African tradition of eating all edible parts of plants and animals. These foods helped maintain the enslaved survival in the United States, and they were forced to rely heavily on chitlins because they were both cheap and readily available. To make the most out of less desirable parts, the enslaved will often slow cook or boil their chitlins, usually adding inexpensive vegetables. This was an effective way to get many nutrients out of the meat as possible. Even through their diet was mainly filled with carbohydrates. This process shows how enslaved people are resourceful in making the most out of a tough situation and provides their resilience and ability to create nutritious meals out of leftovers. The preparation of chitlins would then evolve into an art form. The meticulous task of cleaning, preparing, and cooking. The cooking method was often slow and designed to tenderize the tough meat and sought to enhance the flavor with already available seasonings such as onions, garlic, chili, and vinegar. These cooking methodologies witnessed an evolution over time was based on the ingredients that they had on hand or regional leanings displaying the creativity and adaptability of enslaved Africans in the face of stark adversity. In the post-emancipation era, popularity of chitlins continued despite segregation laws underscoring their cultural significance. Many restaurants served chitlins at a part 
of their range of dishes now referred to as soul food. Chitlins became a staple in many African-American homes and often had a special place at a table during holiday periods such as Christmas or New Year's. This is not simply because it was delicious, but it's also because it carried a powerful message of hope, good luck, and wealth for the coming year. Chitlins was not only about food, but about family unity, which made them a favorite dishes at family reunions and community events. These occasions were a great way for older family members to show the younger ones how to prepare chitlins, thereby ensuring the tradition continues. Particularly during the civil rights era, chitlins found themselves at the heart of African-American social gatherings, family celebrations, and festivals. Chitlins was so closely linked to black culture that it was once an informal collection of entertainment venues mostly attended by black audiences called the Chitlin Circuit. Today, young people have a wide variety of food available and may not feel as closely linked to chitlin. Some may view it as a symbol of poverty and wish to separate themselves from this aspect of their diet. Chitlins also would become associated with slave food. This happens because a person's wealth and social status was determined by the part of the pig which they consumed. Initially, the enslaved and later poor individuals often ate pig's feet, the stomach, or the chitlins because they were cheaper, but they also were physically lower on the pig. People with more means, on the other hand, generally ate the price of portions of meat like the back or upper leg of the pig. And this is where the expression high on the hog comes from because it literally meant rich people eating physically higher portions of the hog. Moreover, people were now paying attention to their diet and how that affect their health. Chitlins were known for their high caloric and cholesterol content and have been linked to health problems such as obesity and heart disease. These problems were prevalent in the African-American community, leading many to steer clear of traditional dish like chitlins, comparing them to unhealthy foods and sugary drinks. Also, preparing chitlins is an extremely time-consuming process and not conducive to the quick-paced lifestyle that we now live. Tasks like cleaning intestines can take hours and it's challenging for families, especially working ones. Young people prefer a faster and more ready to eat meals. Chitlins also stir up discussions about identity and history. They are so deeply rooted in African-American culture. Some view them as a sign of resilience and a way to stand up for social justice, while others view them as a reminder of the stark reality of slavery. While some people have distanced themselves from chitlins. Others are exploring new ways to prepare and enjoy them. Chefs are inventing healthier recipes like using leaner pork parts or adding more vegetables and spices. They are even vegetarian versions of chitlins that are being developed using mushrooms or burdock root. In popular culture, chitlins often used as a nostalgic comfort food. For example, in the book of Color Purple, they use it as a symbol of the family's bonds. Also, Chef Carla Hall once wrote in her book about her experiences and the importance of chitlins in her family, especially during the holidays. She emphasizes their cultural significance and the family bonds that cooking chitlins help create. Chitlins are not just a food. They represent African-American heritage and family. They are an example of the creativity despite hardships and show people how black people found a way to make tasty meals out of the literal worst part of the pig. Chitlins are a testament to African-American tradition representing survival, creativity, and community. Thank you. I'm your host, Country Boy. This has been One Mike Black History. If you like more stories like this, you can find more stories like this at OneMikeHistory.com. Also, if you like to support the channel, you can do so by Buy Me Coffee patreon page in the description below i would like to thank all my new membership members and you keep this channel alive and i thank you for your support peace